Okay, so what did I say? Page 480. Okay. Yeah, 2B. So we want the density uh, of diethyl ether. Density of diethyl ether. at 0.3C. And what you have to do is use the graph or the figure on page, top of page 477. So you look at, if you have the figure, you just look at, it looks something like this. And they have to say it's at 20 degrees in this question. So you just go up and go over and read off whatever the pressure is. That pressure is approximately 420 millimeters of mercury. So that's, this is from the table, from not a table really, but a figure. And then what they want you to do is estimate the density. Okay, so we've got uh, pressure and temperature. We want density. Does anybody know what formula direction we're going? Yeah, it has to be the ideal gas law. If you vaguely remember back to chapter 6, the ideal gas law has density hidden inside of it. So, uh, it definitely has pressure in it. It definitely has temperature, so we'll use that. So, PV equals NRT. We'll go N over V is P over RT. Uh, this is right now moles per a volume or liters we don't really want moles we actually prefer to have something like a, a mass up there so kind of on scratch here moles is uh, let's see mass divided by molar mass is that right? so if you take a mass divided by the molar mass you should get units of moles so I'm going to plug in here, mass divided by molar mass, uh, divided by volume. The reason I'm doing it, density is really, density is mass per volume. So I'm going to get rid of that molar mass. So mass divided by volume equals P over RT and move that molar mass over here. And this is going to be my formula for density. Now let's see what I have. Pressure at 420 millimeters mercury. I want to multiply that by uh, 760 millimeters mercury in the denominator, one atmosphere in the numerator. Now I've got pressure in atmospheres that I'm going to put right there. Temperature, uh, I've got that 20 plus 273. R, that's the ideal gas law constant, 0 0.08206. Mass, that's the mass of diethyl ether, which I think they give you the formula for, C4H10O. C4H10O. Looks like one of the previous ones we were talking about, but it's a different compound. So you use this and your periodic table to get molar mass. And there you go. You have all the components to find density. Does that work? Okay.